Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Exciting Archaeology News. Today, we embark on a journey through the ages, exploring the captivating stories behind some of the most remarkable treasures discovered by archaeologists. Join us as we delve into the world of gold, mystery, and historical significance. Now, get ready to uncover the secrets behind these incredible finds that rival any pirate's loot. But before we embark on this journey, don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button to stay tuned for more riveting tales from the past. In February of 1941, tragedy struck as the SS Gersapa, laden with a staggering $200 million worth of Indian silver destined for the UK to support the British war effort, fell victim to a German U-boat off the coast of Ireland. The vessel's wreckage, discovered in 2011 after years of searching, revealed a grim scene, with its contents scattered across the seafloor near Galloway. The painstaking recovery process, marked by the Odyssey Marine Exploration Company's groundbreaking feat of the deepest salvage operation in history, unfolded only recently, uncovering the majority of the lost silver. Despite these monumental efforts, a significant portion of the treasure remains elusive. Of the 7,000 tons of silver on board the Gersapa, approximately three tons are still unaccounted for, leaving a haunting mystery beneath the depths. In our exploration of remarkable findings, we delve into a recent discovery that transcends mere monetary value, emphasizing the historical significance it carries. The setting is not ancient, but the revelation paints a vivid picture of the cultural landscape of the United States just a century ago. In November of 2020, a couple in New York, amidst their home renovations, stumbled upon a concealed trove of whiskey secreted within wall recesses and discreetly tucked beneath floorboards. A total of 66 bottles were uncovered, validating a long-held local belief associated with the property's past. Legend had it that this century-old residence once belonged to one of New York's most prolific bootleggers during the Prohibition era. However, tangible evidence supporting this notion remained elusive until the unearthing of this whiskey cash. The survival of this illicit libation over the years owes itself to careful packaging, each bottle delicately wrapped in paper and insulated with hay. Adding a touch of irony to the narrative, the whiskey isn't a local concoction, but an imported Scottish brand, bearing the curious name of Old Smuggler Gaelic Whiskey. Remarkably, this brand persists today under the same company's production. Astonishingly, the entire collection remains potable, prompting the fortunate couple to offer each bottle for sale at $1,000, a testament to the enduring allure of historical finds. In December of 2017, an extraordinary discovery in Fredenbeck, Germany stirred the hearts of historians. A lone gold coin, but not just any coin. Minted in 342, during the reign of Roman Emperor Constance, this minuscule treasure stands as the sole surviving example of its kind worldwide. Classified as a multip, a special currency reserved for momentous occasions, it emerged from the sacred grounds of a burial site in Frieden. These coins held unique significance, bestowed by the emperor upon favored individuals during grand ceremonies and festivals. Uncommon outside the conventional borders of the Roman Empire, the presence of this multip in Germany suggests its wearer, likely a Germanic ruler, sought to legitimize their local authority by displaying favor from Rome. Notably, during this era, the Roman Empire enlisted Germanic forces as auxiliary troops, and it's plausible that this rare reward was conferred following a triumph in battle. Each gleaming facet of this coin echoes a tale of prestige, victory, and the enduring connection between distant lands in the ancient world. Archaeologists discovered a trove of treasures on Denmark's Ajarno Island in 2016. Unsure of the significance, they sought expert advice at a nearby museum in Vela. The experts' immediate intrigue and insistence on secrecy signaled the discovery's importance. The gold artifacts, dating back to the German Iron Age in the 6th century, numbered 32 in total, encompassing beads, needles, pendants, and coins. Remarkably, some items featured unprecedented designs, suggesting an exceptionally skilled goldsmith of that era. Beyond their monetary value, the finds held historical weight, with certain artifacts hinting at Roman origins. 
This implies a connection between the island's inhabitants and the Roman Empire before the Viking era, adding a compelling layer to this archaeological narrative. In the rich tapestry of Scottish folklore, a captivating tale emerges, a saga recounting a historic clash between ancient Scots and marauding Vikings in the Galloway region. Fast forward to 2014, where Derek McLennan, a dedicated metal detectorist, unearthed more than mere legend. Venturing alone, Derek unearthed over 100 Viking artifacts, now renowned as the Galloway Horde, shedding light on a thousand-year-old chapter. At the heart of this archaeological marvel lies a breathtaking silver Anglo-Saxon cross, a jewel in the collection. Likely once belonging to the Viking king or a cherished cleric, this ornate masterpiece boasts gilded embellishments and intricate etchings depicting biblical symbols tied to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. A pinnacle of Viking craftsmanship, its value transcends measure. While the total collection's worth remains elusive, Derek's 2.7 million pound finder's fee attests to its extraordinary significance. The Galloway Horde stands as the most monumental discovery of Viking artifacts on the British Isles, unraveling a narrative that transcends the boundaries of myth and etches itself into the historical fabric of Scotland. In the millennia-old tapestry of human habitation on the British Isles, a 2017 discovery in Cumbria has left archaeologists astounded. Unearthed within a Bronze Age hall, this find deviates from the norm, marked by a distinctive touch of rarity. What sets this discovery apart is the presence of a bracelet and a set of three lock rings, all crafted from gold, a departure from the typical materials of the era. The design itself is unprecedented in British archaeological records. The discerning owner, cognizant of their precious nature, concealed these artifacts within a small cavity in a limestone ridge diligently shielding them beneath a layer of rock, preserving them in secrecy for over three millennia. Debate ensues among historians regarding the purpose of these mysterious lock rings. Some propose they served as earrings, while others lean towards their use as hair adornments or alternative forms of personal embellishments. Notably, the finding's proximity to an Iron Age hill fort and an ancient stone circle hints at the site's significance across multiple centuries, suggesting the possibility that these items were deposited as offerings rather than mere storage, though certainty eludes us. This Bronze Age marvel beckons us to contemplate its mysteries, weaving a tale of ancient allure and the nuanced rituals of those who once called this land home. In a remarkable find on the Indonesian island of Java, a set of 22 small gold plates adorned with religious symbols has emerged as a captivating archaeological discovery. Unearthed not far from an ancient Buddhist temple, these plates were carefully arranged within a stone box. The unearthing transpired accidentally during construction of a water aquifer, prompting the intervention of seasoned archaeologists summoned to the scene in Ralaric village. Dating back to the 8th century, each of these 18 karat gold plates bears inscriptions predominantly dedicated to the Dua Lola, the wind gods of the Javanese Hindu-influenced religion. Following their discovery in September of 2016, the Central Java Heritage Conservation Agency assumed ownership of these artifacts. It's noteworthy that a finder fee was conscientiously dispersed to both the construction workers and the landowner where the significant discovery materialized. The deliberate placement of these plates within a decorative box suggests a purposeful act, possibly entailing their burial as a ceremonial blessing or an offering. This intriguing detail hints at a deeper narrative, intertwining the materiality of these golden relics with the spiritual practices surrounding the construction of the nearby temple. In the realm of archaeology, stumbling upon an untouched tomb is akin to discovering a trove of treasures. Such was the remarkable revelation in Cyprus in 2016, where the University of Gutenberg's archaeologists, hailing from Sweden, unveiled a Bronze Age tomb in Hala Sultan after 3,200 years of secrecy. Inside this archaeological marvel, over 100 remarkably preserved ceramic vessels took center stage, accompanied by a cache of gold beads, earrings, and scarabs displaying an unmistakable Egyptian influence. The tomb, crafted on an unusually grand scale, seemed purpose-built for a family of nine adults and eight children. Among its treasures were gemstones, cylinder seals from distant lands like Syria and Mesopotamia, and a lone bronze dagger. 
While the allure of precious metals captivates, the true fascination lies in the intricately adorned ceramics. Notably, one vessel, featuring a detailed illustration of a woman in a dress, serves as a glimpse into the fashion worn by the affluent women of that bygone era. This poignant unveiling offers a poignant testament to the enduring allure of ancient artifacts and the stories they whisper across the sands of time. Throughout history, humans have expressed grief in diverse ways when faced with the loss of a loved one. Take Queen Victoria, who, mourning the passing of her husband Prince Albert, chose to clothe herself exclusively in somber black attire. In 17th century Wales, an alternative manifestation of grief involved the wearing of specially engraved mourning rings, a practice exemplified by a poignant discovery in Gower in 2014. Unearthed from a field, this remarkable ring, crafted predominantly from gold and silver, bore the inscription, Prepared be to follow me. Its impeccable preservation elevated it to the status of British Crown property, with due recognition to the metal detectorist who unearthed it. The tradition of mourning rings traces its origins to the Middle Ages in the British Isles, gaining prominence in the 16th and 17th centuries. Typically, these rings bore the engraved name of the departed, a poignant reminder of the one who had passed. However, the discovered ring from Gower is marked by the absence of such a name, leaving the sentiment inscribed open to interpretation. Regrettably, the identity of the recipient remains forever shrouded in mystery. To unravel the origins of the Bedale Horde, a remarkable discovery in Yorkshire dating back to 2012, we delve into British history. This trove, consisting of 48 gold and silver Viking-designed artifacts crafted in the late 9th to early 10th centuries, unveils a fascinating tale. The ensemble comprises ingots, armbands, necklaces, bands, rivets, rings, brooches, and a captivating sword pommel. While the Viking ownership and craftsmanship of these artifacts are undisputed, an intriguing aspect emerges, traces of Irish and Russian-designed influences, along with Anglo-Saxon elements. This confluence is of profound significance, offering a glimpse into the intricate web of connectivity and interconnection among European nations over a millennium ago. Historically, these artifacts symbolize more than wealth. They represent a form of currency in an era where coins were not commonplace in the British Isles. Trades were conducted based on the weight of bullion, and in this collection, akin to a life savings, could have facilitated substantial transactions. It serves as a poignant reminder of a bygone time when the acquisition of goods hinged on the exchange of items like the illustrious sword pommel. And there you have it, our enthralling expedition through the pages of history, uncovering treasures that transcend time. From the mysterious depths of the SS Gersopa's silver treasure, to the poignant tales woven into mourning rings in Gower, each discovery has etched its narrative into the sands of time. As we bid farewell to this exploration, we invite you to subscribe and hit the like button. Stay tuned for more captivating journeys into the wonders of archaeology. Join us in our ongoing adventure through the ages, where each artifact tells a story, and each find unravels the mysteries that shape our understanding of the past. Stay curious, dear viewers, as we continue to unearth the hidden gems of our shared history. Until next time, keep exploring with exciting archaeology news!